that is the all new hard regeneration of the pop up. It has a completely new, white, flat and elegant design. On the back side of the pop hub is a USB port available. With that USB port, it is possible to add other wireless or smart home protocols like an ocean. Besides the integrated Wi-Fi, the pop hub can also be connected to a common Ethernet cable. The mounting plate is made to mount the pop hub to the wall. If it is required, it can also be used as a tamper protection. In the case the pop up is unmounted, you can receive a message to your CWAVE smart home system. Within the box, there is also a USB charging cable to connect the pop up to the power. Furthermore, you will find some screws for mounting the pop up to the wall. If you have a USB port available at your PC or laptop, you can connect your pop-up to it. As an alternative, you can just use the within chip USB charger. And that's how you configure the pop-up. Connect it to, a, to the power like shown before. Afterwards, you have to wait for a moment. The successful booting is shown by three white LEDs underneath the pop hub. If those LEDs blink permanently, you can start with the actual setup. The pop hub is now visible as a Wi Fi hotspot so you can connect to it with your tablet, notebook or PC. The Wi-Fi of the hub is obviously protected by a password. You can find the individual key on the underside of the pop-up. The direct Wi-Fi connection to the pop-up is also good for the increasing safety. In the next step, you will also set your own personal password. That secures that no other user can read along or pick up your password. The web user interface of the pop hub can be reached over a common browser like Chrome or Firefox. Just type in the IP address 192.168.1.1. In the first mask of the configuration, you can set your own personal password now, as well as an email address. If you may forget your password, you can reset the password with this email address. Your pop hub already has an own smart home ID. With the help of the smart home ID, you can even access your smart home via a browser or free iOS or Android app from your smartphone. If you want to connect your pop hub to your own local network, you can do that without any issues. The easiest way is to connect the pop hub with an Ethernet cable to your router. Now you access the pop hub over find.pop.eu. For that, the smart home ID is required. In our next step, we will connect the first C-Wave device. We can reach the configuration menu now. You will find it in the right corner of the user interface. Here you will find the menu point, Devices. Press the button Auto Connect now and the pop-up starts the learning mode. Now you have to set the other C-Wave device into the learning mode so both devices can connect with each other. Well done! Now every single function of the device has an own element in the user interface. You can change the name of them and assign them to specific rooms. If you haven't created the right rooms yet, you can simply do that in this configuration mask. Now the plug can be switched randomly. You can use a PC, tablet or laptop for it. You can use the browser or smartphone app or just automate it with scenes. With us, your home becomes smart. Pop. Pioneering smart homes.